Cell cycle, chapter four, section three, page 92. <clears throat> In the time that it takes you to read the sentence, your body will have produced millions of new cells. Producing new cells allows you to grow and replace cells that have died. For example, the environment in your stomach is so acidic that the cells lining it must be replaced every few days. Pause to answer question one and two of your fill in the blank notes. Now copy the heading onto the notes called the life of a cell. As you grow, you pass through different stages in life. Similarly, your cells pass through different stages in their life cycle. The life cycle of a cell is known as a cell cycle. Pause to define what a cell cycle is. The cell cycle begins when the cell is formed and ends when the cell divides and forms new cells. Before a cell divides, it must make a copy of its DNA. Pause to answer question four. DNA contains the information that tells a cell how to make proteins. The DNA of a cell is organized into structures called chromosomes. Pause to add the definition of chromosome to question five. <clears throat> In some organisms, chromosomes also contain protein. Copying chromosomes ensures that each new cell will be able to survive. How does a cell make more cells? Well, that depends on whether the cell is prokaryotic or eukaryotic. Pause to write in the next section, blue subheading, making more prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells, which is bacteria, and their DNA are not very complex. Bacteria have ribosomes and a single circular molecule of DNA, but they don't have any membrane-covered organelles. Because of this, cell division in bacteria is fairly simple. It is called binary fission, which means splitting into two parts. Each of the resulting cells contains one copy of the DNA. Some of the bacteria in figure 11 below are undergoing binary fission. Pause to answer question six and to define binary fission for question number seven. Then copy the next subheading in blue, eukaryotic cells and their DNA. Eukaryotic cells are usually much larger and more complex than prokaryotic cells. Pause to answer question eight. Because of this, eukaryotic cells have a lot more DNA. The chromosomes of eukaryotic eukaryotes contain DNA and proteins. The number of chromosomes in the cells of eukaryotes differs from one kind of organism to the next and has nothing to do with the level of complexity of the organism. Pause to answer question nine. For example, fruit flies have eight chromosomes Potatoes have 48 chromosomes, and humans have 46. Pause to answer the second part of question 9. Figure 12 shows the 46 chromosomes of a human body cell lined up in pairs. These pairs are made up of similar chromosomes, known as homologous chromosomes. Pause to define homologous chromosomes in number 10. Now copy down the next subheading in blue, making more eukaryotic cells. For this section, we're going to write down what occurs in each of the three stages. This is in question 11. The eukaryotic cell cycle includes three main stages. In the first stage, the cell grows and copies its organelles and chromosomes. Pause to write down what happens in stage one. In stage one, 
During this time, the strands of DNA and proteins are loosely coiled pieces of thread. After each chromosome is duplicated, two copies are called chromatids. Chromatids are held together at a region called the centromere. The chromatids each twist and coil and condense into an X shape, as shown in figure 13. After this happens, the cell enters the second stage of the cycle. Pause to make sure you have all parts of stage one copied and define chromatids in number 11 and centromere in number 12. In the second stage, the chromatids separate. The complicated process of chromosome separation is mitosis. Pause to copy down what happens in stage two. Mitosis ensures that each new cell receives a copy of the chromosome. Mitosis can be divided into four phases as shown on the following pages. Pause to finish up what happens in stage two and to define the word mitosis on question number 13. In the third stage of the cell cycle, the cell divides and produces two cells that are identical to the original cell. Cell division will be discussed after mitosis has been described. Pause to complete what happens in stage three. Before turning the page in your textbook, pause to draw and label a chromatid. See page 93 in the bottom right corner for a picture of a chromatid and make sure you label the chromatid and then the centromere. Turn to page 94. Copy the green heading, mitosis in the cell cycle. <clears throat> the diagram below shows the cell cycle and the phases of mitosis in an animal cell. Although mitosis is a continuous process, it can be divided into the four phases that are shown and described. As you know, the different types of living things have different numbers of chromosomes. In this diagram, only four chromosomes are shown to make it easier to see what's happening. Pause to answer question 15. Before mitosis begins, the chromosomes and other cell materials are copied. The pair of centrioles, which are two cylindrical structures, are also copied. Each chromosome now consists of two chromatids. Mitosis phase one is where mitosis begins. The nuclear membrane breaks apart. Chromosomes condense into rod-like structures. The two pairs of centrioles move to the opposite sides of the cell. Fibers form between the two pairs of centrioles and attach to the centromeres. Mitosis phase two, called metaphase. The chromosomes line up along the equator of the cell, or the middle. Mitosis phase three is called anaphase. The chromatids separate and are pulled to opposite sides of the cell by the fibers attached to the centrioles. Mitosis phase four, which is telophase, is when the nuclear membrane forms around the two sets of chromosomes, and they unwind. The fibers disappear, and mitosis is complete. Once mitosis is completed, the cytoplasm splits in two. This process is called cytokinesis. The result is two identical cells that are also identical to the original cell from which they were formed. After cytokinesis, the cell cycle is complete and the new cells are at the beginning of their next cell cycle. Pause to write the final subheading just above question 16. More about cytokinesis. <clears throat> In animal cells and other eukaryotes that do not have cell walls, division of the cytoplasm begins at the cell membrane. The cell membrane begins to pinch inward to form a groove, which eventually pinches all the way through the cell, and two daughter cells are formed. Cytokinesis in an animal cell is shown above. Pause to record that this happens in an animal cell under number 16. Eukaryotic cells that have a cell wall, such as the cells of plants, algae, and fungi, do things a little differently. In these organisms, a cell plate forms in the middle of the cell and becomes a new cell membrane that will separate the two new cells. After the cell is split in two, 
a new cell wall forms between the two membranes. Cytokinesis in a plant cell is shown in figure 14. Finish by recording what happens as a cell plate forms under plant cells in question 16.